despite withering point-blank fire. Wow. He, Chapman would... now literally on top of the enemy. And... Hey guys, it's the loud guys. Today we are going to react to the first Medal of Honor ever recorded. And the thing is, this is very special to see like the first ever Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor, as you have read, like it is one of the highest, like uh, the prestigious award that is ever given to an American. So it is, of course, it holds a very, very high record to every American. And similarly in India, we have Bharat Ratna and that is given to, that is the highest civilian award that is given. And then we have Arjuna Award and many others award that are given to army personnel and other, other people. So this, uh, so I think, so this is something that is very prestigious. I've seen a ceremony where Barack Obama was giving some kind of an award to Joe Biden. I don't know that what that award was. Do let us know in the comments. But section this uh, so this prestigious award is given for the military persons. Okay. Like yes, it is only given to military persons. Yes, like soldiers. So the and Joe Biden one would be different. <laughs> yes, soldiers and sailors and airmen. This is given to honor them okay. for their work and for their pride work. So what they do. And this award is also given by press. Is given by President of the United. States, states so let's see that what is there in this video and what that it is going to be first medal of honor ever recorded so i guess it's going to be first just recorded first or uh, first medal of honor given to anybody yeah i also had the same question but i don't think so it is it is the first medal of honor ever given because ever given because okay. i think so 2002 it was given around 2002 so uh, in that point of time i think so many americans have given their lives for their country and i think so many yes. would have received this honor so I don't think so that would be the first time but this is the first time ever to be recorded recorded also yeah so I think this would be very exciting to see mm -hmm. an army thing going on and what has happened so that they deserve this award so yes. let's start Chapman a US Air Force combat controller and the SEALs are attempting to rescue their lost teammate you'll watch Chapman's heroic actions as he saves the lives of his entire SEAL team and then another 18 members of a quick reaction force wow earning America's highest award the Medal of Honor. Oh. Chapman and the SEALs exfil their MH-47 helicopter. John is the second individual to exit and immediately moves in the direction of the summit. There they are. He can be seen moving off to the right of the screen alone. The team is taking heavy fire from every direction as indicated by the arrows as Chapman begins engaging targets. My God. You can see spent cartridges ejecting from his M4. Chapman then begins closing with the enemy, forcing his way upslope in knee and thigh deep snow. He is constantly under fire as he does this. Chapman's team leader begins to close on Chapman, following his trail through the snow. The dark mass above Chapman is a fortified bunker containing two enemy fighters, each armed with AK 47s, who are firing down on the team in the darkness. This bunker will come to be known as Bunker Number One. To the left of the tree and Bunker One is another gray mass. This is a rock outcropping that came to be called the Boulder. The Boulder. Between Bunker One and this Boulder can be seen the body of slain SEAL Neil Roberts, the oh. man Chapman and the others are attempting to recover. Okay. Chapman, still alone and closest to the enemy, pauses to engage targets as his team leader follows him, but never actually catches up with him. Why? He's just staying back. Mm -hmm. Chapman, on his own, now makes the decision to charge directly into the enemy bunker, despite withering point-blank fire. Wow. He alone. Chapman, now literally on top of the enemy, engages the two combatants and kills them, saving the lives of the remaining SEALs. Kills them. He does this from a distance of no more than 10 feet. These actions by themselves earned him his first Medal of Honor. Wow. He then he climbs into the this. and takes control of the bunker. Having cleared the immediate threat, Chapman is then joined by his team leader in Bunker 1. You can then see Chapman and his team leader engaging the next bunker, known as Bunker 2, which is situated to the left edge of the screen. This bunker, manned by a handful of Chechen and Uzbek fighters, also contains a heavy PKM machine gun, hand grenades, and rocket propelled grenades. My God. John Chapman is shot Fully twice loaded. this time in the torso and collapses, incapacitated. Shot twice. My God. 
you are now looking at a new angle and at the left of the screen can be seen the two-man fire team and mm -hmm. team leader on top of the boulder. Just below it is Bunker 1 with the mortally wounded Chapman. One SEAL can be seen firing his modified M60 machine gun from the hip into Bunker 2 on the right side of the screen until he is struck by grenade shrapnel and tumbles 10 feet off the top of the boulder, oh. collapsing at the feet of his team leader, thus setting off a chain of events that would lead to the SEALs abandoning Chapman on the summit. They abandoned him. The SEAL and the team leader can be seen conferring about his injuries. Moments later, the SEALs decide to retreat from the summit because their position is untenable in the face of continued massive enemy firepower. They can be seen moving toward the right side of the screen and passing the body of Neil Roberts. Unfortunately, the SEALs do not pass John Chapman, who is above them and inside Bunker 1. This angle shows three SEALs in a triangle. Hmm. The larger black heat signature is a smoke grenade. Just to its left is a donkey and dead Al-Qaeda fighter oh. killed by Chapman. The steepness of the mountain can be seen as the seals begin to slide down the near sheer face. And Chapman is still up there. Yes. The team leader, desperate for relief and now with two wounded teammates, asks for uncontrolled airstrikes from an orbiting Air Force AC-130 gunship. They blast the impacts you see are from 105mm howitzer rounds being fired onto the ridgetop in order to save the remaining SEALs. Because neither the SEALs nor gunship know Chapman is alive, he is experiencing these detonations from his position. My god. At approximately 5.20 in the morning, Chapman recovers and begins to engage the enemy. Wow. Bunker 1 is on the right side center of the screen and I'm Bunker 2 to the ball. left near the screen center. It will never be known what caused his incapacitation and recovery. Of the two rounds that originally wounded him, at least one was mortal and at this time he is experiencing severe blood loss and shock. Despite that, he begins his one-man stand against two dozen enemy combatants. During Again. this time, Chapman initiates a series of radio calls, many of which are heard by a fellow combat controller and teammate of his uh. and Delta Force operators on a nearby summit. Despite this combat controller's replies, Chapman never acknowledges whether because of damage to his equipment or himself will never be known. Why didn't he reply? This new angle in footage shows Chapman at the top, identified by the green dot under the tree at Bunker 1. The lower center of the screen shows the first enemy fighter who is about to charge Chapman in the hopes of killing the American. The timestamp at the bottom shows it is now 6.05 in the morning and fully light. He's been fighting alone now for 40 plus minutes and has received more gunshot and shrapnel wounds as a result of the fierce combat. This scene shows the second of several enemy charges. In this stunning display of determination and courage, Chapman can be seen fighting hand to hand with the fighter. Wow, in the man. larger screen display can be seen additional enemy moving on to the summit. But right now, John Chapman is fighting for his life. It's Six minutes later, so brave. in this new shot, Chapman can hear another helicopter approaching the summit. He is in the bottom center of the screen underneath the tree and can be seen in the magnified inset box as he begins his desperate final stand to save the lives of the 18 men on the helicopter. The red dots are enemy fighters. John begins engaging the enemy in multiple directions and is rapidly approaching the last of his ammunition. The helicopter contains a quick reaction force comprised of rangers, pararescue men, and another combat controller. It is now 6.13 and the helicopter is short final. The enemy is desperately trying to displace Chapman so they can put heavy weapons or rocket propelled grenades in Bunker 1 while simultaneously engaging the helicopter. With the choice to save his life or the lives of his unknown comrades, Chapman makes the decision to climb out of the bunker and begin firing in multiple directions as can be seen in the inset. Suffering from as many as a dozen wounds, Chapman is in fact already in the process of dying. My as he fights, the helicopter is struck by a rocket propelled grenade and makes a remarkable controlled crash just below Chapman and the summit. Chapman, now off screen, continues to cover his comrades as they pour out of the stricken helicopter. Some of them are fatally shot as they exit. 
These images, with Chapman fighting the enemy at close quarter, are the last to show him alive and in this heroic act, thus qualifying for his second Medal of Honor. Second Medal of Honor. Ultimately, wow. Chapman would expend all but the last few rounds of his ammunition, until, finally, after 16 bullet and shrapnel wounds, Chapman succumbs bullet. when he is shot through the heart. We will never know his final thoughts or words, but what we do know is, his decisions and actions single-handedly saved the lives of 23 comrades. Wow! This story was not only emotional, it was not only inspiring, but it was also giving me goosebumps. This was such a really good story. And the thing is, it is a real story about Dave Chapman and like hats off to this guy. Like you really find these kind of guys who do not care about their lives, who just care about the nation they are fighting for and who just care about the cause and the pride of their nation. And yes. he did everything he can. Like all the other SEALs left him and they left that bunker and they went down and he could have been demotivated and like he was in like uh, not in uh, his senses and he was he lost his senses and the, and the thing was next day he recovered and the moment he recovered the first thing that he did, is, did was pick up his gun again and start fighting again so that was so inspiring and then after then going after all those guys and then fighting and then give, giving cover, cover fire and also saving all these seals and all these 18 men was so heroic yes such stories really gives us goosebumps and it's like a matter of proud for us that such soldiers and such people are there for our nation that are you know uh, taking security of our people of of whole nation right and this Ch mr chapman really deserves medal of honor like what a story it was he was shot like he was uh, hitted a lot of times with gu by 16 the 16 to 18 times yes 16 to 18 times by the end but in the middle also he was shot a lot of times but still he did not give up and he was fighting alone that was the big part of the story that he was fighting alone he uh, you know didn't give a damn that whether anyone is there with him or not and uh, after that when in the next morning when he get up from his senses uh, to like came up in his senses so he came out of the bunker like that was a see that is seriously a big thing even we have seen a lot of true incidents stories to movies in indians indian movies also where like soldiers are fighting a lot and after watching such movies we are like like what a matter of pride for us to them seriously this uh, mr chapman seriously deserves medal of honor and the thing was recently there was a movie called chesha in yes, india that was this story was reminding me of that movie only. and in that movie also like there was a war going on and mm -hmm. he fought till the end and he was very very brave team leader and he did all his best he can so all these soldier stories give you very much inspiration and you can just salute them that is what you can do because nothing can repay of them whatever they do for our country and whatever they do for everyone in this world and for the peace of this world and also the thing was the most heartbroken thing was like when he was trying to contact the commander in chief and like when they were responding to him so he was not responding to them because he did not want them to come again and save him because if they came and save him so then also their lives will also be in like in they uh, might also yeah uh -huh. they might also get hurt and so he did not want that he wanted that to happen so but this requires a lot of guts and courage, seriously yeah. this guts can be found only in soldiers not it cannot be found in common people i can say this because he himself alone he saved lives of 23 around people this is a big thing yeah and actually so this was really really inspiring video and how did you guys find this video do let us know in the comment section below and also you can be our patreon member do check out the link in the description box below so so do like share and subscribe to our channel bye, bye.